Hi everyone, I am Roshni Abraham, working as a speech language pathologist in Jewel Autism Center. Today I am here with an easy activity to improve the language construction in children. This activity is mainly for the children who can able to speak in words, but they find it difficult to produce sentences using those words. Usually at the age of uh, one year, children start to speak their uh, word productions. They start to speak uh, in single words. And at the age of two years, they start to produce the uh, sentences by combining those words. But some children find it difficult to produce sentences, even though they can produce those words. So this activity is mainly to help those children who can uh, only produce words but can't produce sentences. In our field, we usually use a technique to improve the language construction in children. That is, we usually call it as expansion or extension technique. That means, to the existing word of child's production, we are adding another meaningful word or grammatical structure to produce, uh, to help them to produce the sentences. For example, if a child sees a bird and he says it as bird, we can help to improve his uh, sentence production by saying that, yeah, that there is a bird and the bird is flying. So in, in that, we are in, uh, adding uh, meaningful words and grammatical structures to improve his sentence production. So this activity is also mainly to uh, improve their sentence construction. Usually children produce their sentences through a thorough observation of uh, people around them and by observing how they are speaking, they naturally learn to produce sentences. But for some children, especially children with autism, find it difficult to observe from their surroundings, uh, surroundings and to make sentences from those words. For children who are not able to produce sentences only through hearing, we can give uh, help through visual presentations. So in this activity, I am mainly using those visual presentations for helping them to produce sentences. Now let's go to the activity which I have prepared. In this activity, I am mainly focusing on answering questions. Usually our child find difficult to answer the questions appropriately even though they know the answer or even though they know the uh, exact word for the answer. So this activity is to help their answering skills. So you can see that uh, there are many pictures and there is a blackboard and in this blackboard I, I have covered it with a uh, uh, paper chart paper and I have also uh, sticked a double sided tape on this. I have collected the pictures of uh, some things or some activities which can be usually considered or uh, coming as, as an answer to our daily related questions. For example, if your child is playing ball and you are asking your child that what you are doing, baby what you are doing and your child uh, doesn't know, even though he, is a, he's no, he knows the word ball, he doesn't know how to answer. So you can uh, spread all these pictures in front of them and you can give a choice to him that uh, he can able to choose the exact word. And if your child fails to take the exact word, you can help him to take the uh, exact answer of the uh, question that is ball. So you are helping him to take the picture of ball and you are pasting here. You are again asking the question, baby what are you doing? And if the child doesn't know how to answer, you are pointing to the picture. Okay, you are pasting this picture here and you are pointing to the picture so that the child is able to say ball. So after repeated trials uh, of the, this activity, child may be able to answer this uh, correctly by, uh, by only saying ball. Now we want to make him to answer in sentence. So next we again we ask the question, uh, baby what are you doing and child says ball. What you will do is that you will uh, pick a picture of playing and you will stick it here so the child will be able to say playing ball and if the child can't uh, say using this picture you can also first help him to uh, produce these uh, words using these pictures you can just point to the first picture so the child will be saying play the, you can uh, reconstruct that word by saying play so playing ball and if the child is successfully able to say this uh, playing ball you can add the picture of uh, your child. You can either add a picture of a boy or girl or it, it will be better if you add the picture of your own child. So you can, uh, for example, the child's name is Abby. You can say it like that, Abby playing ball. Okay, 
again you can add grammatical structures like a b is playing ball and later if the child is able to answer this question uh, consistently and appropriately using these three words you can add the uh, pronoun instead of using this a b by saying i am playing ball so uh, you that's how we can use this activity again for example if you are asking another question okay ab what are you drinking okay the child can say juice by seeing the picture okay we can increase this production like by adding an orange in front of this so the, the child can say orange juice again we can add the picture drinking so the child may say drinking orange juice and if the child is able to produce this correctly we can again add the picture of child here and he can say ab is drinking orange juice and later i am drinking orange juice thus we can use this activity to improve their language construction our children really like to see the pictures and they can produce those words by seeing pictures easily than through auditory especially children with autism so you can uh, collect the pictures of uh, daily related questions uh, maybe you are asking some other questions to the child so we are, where we are going with whom you came today you can add many more questions like that and you can uh, collect the pictures of those questions so that we can, you can improve the production of child's answering questions again you can also use this activity to improve their uh, description of pictures or storytelling Okay, so you uh, by thinking a story you can collect the pictures of those uh, story characters and the verbs of those stories so you you, you have to collect both the uh, characters and you, uh, also the actions of those characters and by using this picture you can help the child to uh, produce sentence uh, construction i think this uh, video helped you a lot thank you so much